You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. Subscribe to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dragon Island demo. So guys, let's go ahead and uh, pick up right where we left off. I'm going to question Black some more. Uh, he's uh, probably the one I'm going to be going with on my first playthrough. Ooh, I like me some fluffy boys. I like me some scaly boys, too. I like I like guys in general. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes to entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Let's see. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, crap. Um, let's load that again. Yeah, I had it on auto. Okay. I don't think you... I don't think you drew it out of boredom. So why draw it? It may just want praise. Maybe so. I looked up at the ceiling and noticed more cameras mounted above us. Talk to Black. Status quo. After hearing all the stories about Dragon Island, this place is nowhere near what I imagined. That's putting it mildly. Black clenched his fists as he hissed angrily, his face flushed. And here I was eager to gorge myself on fine meats, but even that is denied to me. Meat? But, but what Motsei and Napoleon are busy cooking in the kitchen is... You wouldn't understand. Speaking of understanding, you are an awfully nosy individual. You've been pestering me ever since you got on the ferry. I'm just trying to be friendly. After all, it's better if we all get along since we're all stuck on this island. Music, you're loud. Music. There you go. I like the music, though. The music's pretty good. Alright. Black sighed and looked up at me. Let's just say that there are certain matters involving me being on this island that I do not want to talk about. If you insist on being friendly, then avoid such topics. Aw, come on! I want to talk more with him. Damn it. Shang Wei. Okay. We haven't seen anyone else on this island yet. I think something sinister is afoot. Why? Sure, things haven't been great, but there's no need to jump to conclusions so quickly. Our only escape, our only escape ship wrecked by a mysterious reef, a strangely empty resort island. Okay, I'll grant you that, but that may just be coincidence or poor planning by the host. There's also the fact that it'll take two days for rescue to arrive. There's an awful lot of coincidence right now. Only one explanation can reassure me a little. The only person here other than us is the owner of the island, and he's hiding somewhere, watching and waiting. But suddenly he encountered some health issue and can't execute his plan. That doesn't sound reassuring at all. If that's true, then the owner's life may be in danger. If that's not the case, then we're the ones that are in danger. Owner of the island. Hey, Chang, do you know who the, owner's, the island's owner is? Chang Wei tilted his head and slowly stroked his beard. Oh, uh, sort of. He's hesitating. Maybe I can coax some info out of him. I mean, it's pretty clear he kept his identity secret, so why suddenly announce himself? I, I also find it very strange. He never mentioned to me that this island is his, is his either. Considering none of us have seen him, we wouldn't even recognize his face. Wait, he's your client. You two should have met. What? You should know what he looks like, right? I, we only ever communicated by email. We never met in person. So much for that. Holly. Holly? Rack! Hello! Hello! And good morning! It's afternoon, dumbass! Rack! I know he's Ch Chang's pet and all, but... Now I'm half tempted to see if Motsei can roast him. Polly has a bit of a smart mouth sometimes. Don't take it personally. Oh, it's him. Okay. Polly has a bit of, has a, bit of a smart mouth sometimes. Don't take it personally. Eh, why would I do that? He's learned a lot of words from me, including some I'd rather he didn't. Dinner. I just went to the kitchen to check it out. Discover anything? Napoleon and Motsei seem to be in a fierce rivalry to see who can make a better meat dish. If that's what, if that means we get to see whose cooking is better, that just means better food for us. Shane Wei glanced around conspiratorially and whispered, I feel sorry for Black. What's wrong with him? So he'll share with Chang, but not me. What's what's with him? I don't know the specific I don't know the specifics, but he doesn't eat meat. Why? He didn't elaborate. I should probably let our two chefs know before it's too late. Okay. Talk to the chefs. Kitchen. Okay. Oh boy. What are these two doing? Talk. Okay. Black. There we go. I overheard Chang Wei talking with someone. Talking about something. Oh? Tell me about it. 
And Black doesn't eat meat, so he probably won't appreciate... Oh, that's no problem. I've got some cabbage that Mosei didn't use. I'll make him something special using that. How about some gratitude, Cal? Thank you, you whale! Thanks. <laughs> that looks like they're getting along just fine. Someone else. Oh, okay. Um, stop talking. Let's go with back to dining room. Okay, let's talk to Way. Anything? Ain't? Nope. Okay, let's talk to Black. There we go. I heard Shang Wei mention something about you. Ah, uh, I think he said you don't eat meat. You would think a lawyer wouldn't share secrets. That's right, I don't eat meat. As for the reason, I don't want to mention it. Then what'll you eat for dinner? Black reluctantly pulled out a plastic box from under the table. Don't worry about me, I have my own food. Is that a box of instant rice? More or less. I took the plastic box. It looked like ordinary instant rice except for the words low-protein rice written on it. I didn't bring much of it, so don't expect me to be sharing it. Black snatched the plastic box from my hand and gave me a wary glance. Aww. It's like you're not from Sun City. Did you move here for school? My family moved to Sun City a long time ago, but yes, I do attend school here. I currently attend Sun City Medical School. It must be pretty good to get into there. But don't expect anything special if you get hurt. Without any equipment, I can only do some basic first aid. Things like CPR, basic wound care, the Heimlich Maneuver. But you should know those too, right? My last name is Heimlich. What do you think? You can't really be Dr. Heimlich's... Heh, <laughs> no. Fine. Silly conversations with people, good lord. Let's go, okay. What else is there? Dining room, let's go to the cellar. What the fuck is in the cellar? <laughs> Wine! It seems to be a storage cellar. Opened up, opened up the floor-to-ceiling storage cabinets and looked through them. There was a camera mounted on the ceiling that overlooked the entire storage room. The owner must have some obsession with security, otherwise there wouldn't be cameras everywhere in this villa. The first cabinet had military emergency rations, first aid kits, and several large containers of fresh water, plus water, pur water purifiers and several desalinators. Looks like something out of a survivalist compound. The next one contained all kinds of tools, shovels, hammers, fishing rods, as well as a collection of seeds. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the living room. Who's in the living room? Dare pray tell. Oh. I can see the garden through the living room window. It's easier to enjoy than I had access to air conditioning and cushy, cushy chairs. I took a seat on the couch near Yoshi and Leong and crossed my legs beneath me. Holding a sketchbook, Yoshi was eagerly fishing for answers about the features of the island out of Leong at a rate, at a rate of about a word a minute. Well... Take your time, please, but please tell me what you've seen on this island paradise. Pier. It's a pity that you're that our shipwrecked so close to the pier. What else? What else? House and garden. Yes, yes, but what else? Things that we haven't had a chance to visit yet. There's a beach and a hot spring. Ooh, we can go swimming first and then soak in the hot springs. I wouldn't soak very long, or your skin will. What's the highest place on the island? It's somewhere where you can see all the way to the horizon. The hot springs are at the top of the volcano, so there, I guess. Will it erupt, though? Will it erupt, though? Don't know. Enough chatting for me. Leong hurriedly run, runs toward the bathroom. Who are we gonna talk to? Oh, yeah, okay, so he's not here. But yet he is. Good God. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. We're here to have fun, so that's fine. Captain Leong said that by the time I finish painting the portrait, the ferry will come. No big deal. Maybe so, but still. If someone drowns or gets hurt, we'll have no way to send them to Sun City. Then don't drown! Besides, we still have a very reliable shark dragon lifeguard, just in case. I guess so. Thanks for the compliment. If whoever owns this island doesn't show, then how are you going to paint this paint his portrait? Seems like a waste. How can you say something so preposterous? I was paid a lot of money to come to a lovely island, so it's not a waste. But even if he doesn't come, I can easily sketch and paint the tropical landscape. Ooh, or even some small portraits of everyone. Those would be nice. Anyway, it's still a bit weird that this mysterious rich guy who invited us here still hasn't shown up. Wealth does tend to breed eccentricities, yes? Let's just hope that his eccentricities don't end up putting us in danger. If you don't mind me asking, how much did the host offer you for the portrait? He gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. Oh no, does that he- does he mean- $2,000, plus a full set of new tools and paints. 
That's not what I was expecting. That's enough to eat barbecue every night for a month, I think. Ooh, so you use barbecue dinners as a measurement of wealth. Man after my own heart. I... I guess I just picked... I guess I just picked it because I didn't usually have cash to spend on something that expensive when I was your age. Well, with what's say here, we'll have our... We'll have our... our we'll have our own private all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant. If you're still not sick of barbecue by the time we leave, maybe we'll stop by his place once we get back to the Sun City. Absolutely! Since I'll be flush with cash by then, hee <laughs> hee. Looks like I'm not the only one who's bad at saving money. Map of Dragon Island. What's with the sudden urge to map out the island? There's no rhyme or reason to the urges of my artistic soul. I'd just become overwhelmed with the desire to paint or draw something, then I do it. I suppose it's that way with all creative endeavors. You don't need a special reason. It's just an idea and a desire to make it manifest. So what about this portrait you have to paint for our host? That's different. That's just work. Villa structure diagram. So I just finished walking around with the ma that map of the villa you gave me. Oh, how did it go? Was it accurate? Very accurate, considering that we haven't been here for more than an hour or so. And by the way, did you see the host anywhere? I've been everywhere on the ground floor and still no sign. How could this be? He paid me to paint, but what should I do if a client doesn't show up? I still feel uneasy, and I'm not sure why. Maybe you're just hungry? As if on cue, Yoshi's stomach let out a loud gurgle. Maybe we should meet with the others in the dining room. Quite. Yoshi put away his sketchbook and followed me into the dining room. Oh god. Shang Wei and Black were still chatting in the dining room. Their conversation once again came to a screeching halt when we entered. Ah, you guys are hungry too? Black hadn't pulled out his low-protein rice yet, but he still looked a little bit nervous. My stomach yearns to be filled. It whispers, feed me. The smell of grilled eggplant and seafood quiche wafted out of the kitchen, accompanied by the sound of Monse and Napoleon arguing. Yoshi sniffed the air and visibly relaxed. I don't know how long it will be before I can eat it, but just smelling it makes me feel excited, makes me feel relaxed. After everything we've gone through, I think we can all use a treat. A nice big meal should improve our mood. Well, that's true. I should probably over. I should probably shouldn't overindulge. I still want to stay in shape. You have the opportunity to eat meat and casually pass it by. Unforgivable. Phew. Sorry. Was I late? Uh huh. The chefs haven't left their domain to visit us yet. Hopefully they'll be done arguing by the time the food is ready. Ding! The arguing stopped as the cheerful ding of a timer cut through the air. Now presenting the main course, shrimp and bacon quiche with Gruyere. Napoleon came out of the kitchen with his dish on a platter and set it lightly on the table. Shrimp and bits of bacon poked out of the cooked egg of the quiche, their scents mixing with the slightly nutty smell of the Gruyere cheese on top. With a flourish, Napoleon produced a bread knife from his apron and moved to cut the quiche, then paused and glanced around the tablet, the table. Six slices, then. I honestly didn't expect this, and I really do apologize. It's okay. I brought my own food. Black pulled his low-protein rice from under the table and tore open the package. What is, uh... Low-protein rice to, re to control protein intake. Well, you can put that away because I made you something separate. Napoleon returned to the kitchen and brought out a plate of sautéed cabbage. Sautéed with butter and a bit of lemon juice. Bon appétit. Ooh, that does look sound good. Ah. But thank you. Thank Henry for telling me about it. I wouldn't have known otherwise. Besides, it's an honor for me that you like my cooking. Coming through, fresh eggplant, hot and ready. Matei strode out of the kitchen with a tray of roasted eggplant, hip-checking Napoleon out of the way before the quiche could be cut. Oof! The eggplant was fresh off the grill, and still and still bubbling egg wash and garlic, giving it a golden color. That looks delicious. The plump, fat flesh of the eggplant looked almost like it was ready to dribble out. If you had said if you had said something earlier, I would have left the egg wash off. I only used it because it seals the garlic in. No, that's not necessary. It would be rude to barge into your kitchen and... Ha! <laughs> I've had worse things said to me. I ain't gonna be offended. All my customers know they can just tell me to make something special if they have a taste. If I can't get the ingredients that day, I'll have them ready and waiting tomorrow. Napoleon rolled his eyes before carefully slicing up the quiche and carefully placing a piece on each person's plate. But say likewise sliced up the eggplant and placed a few pieces on the side of each person's pie. Our first dinner on Dragon Island was a lively affair, although the meal itself was a bit strange. Still, Mozart's roasted eggplant and Napoleon's seafood quiche both tasted great. With dinner out of the way, we all moved to the living room to discuss the day's events. 
Cheng Wei moving around the room with a nervous energy, hooking at the projector and reaching to inspect the security camera. Liang silently half-straddled the arm of the sofa. Why would he sit so awkwardly like that? Or does he just find that comfortable? Black was sprawled out on the sofa like he just collapsed from running a marathon. Yoshi's creative energy wasn't exhausted, which was... Which is why he was at the window with his sketchbook, even as it started getting dark. Soon, Lutsei and Napoleon both walked in from the kitchen after having cleaned up, for da up after dinner. Although they seemed to be cooperating, neither one looked particularly happy about it. Enjoying your stay on Dragon Island so far, everyone? Suddenly, an unfamiliar voice spoke up. Oh, uh, did someone say something? Don't look at me. I didn't say anything. Napoleon and Motsei looked at each other. Shang Wei looked upwards while Black slowly sat up from the couch and looked around suspiciously. Could it be the owner of Dragon Island is finally here? The voice was so sudden I wasn't sure where it came from, but it did sound like it came from outside. I looked out, I looked toward the door, but there was no one there. The sound came from this room. Shang Wei looked at everyone one by one like he was inspecting us. <clears throat> Over here! We all looked towards the direction of the sound, but only saw Shang Wei, who was standing in front of the projector. <laughs> I didn't even move my mouth just now, so it's not me. It came from there. Shang Wei dramatically pointed a finger at the ceiling, and I followed the finger to... The projector? It's got to be it. The voice is coming from the projector. This is no mere projector. This is an all-set, all-in-one home theater system. It can speak! The machines are taking over! Okay, I don't know what she is pulling this prank, but it ain't funny. Oh, you think it's a this is a mere prank? Wait, it can hear us? It sounds like one of those old dub movies. This is the 21st century technology, not some old foreign film trick. Suddenly the room went dark. The entire room was shrouded in shadow, lit by faint moonlight. The only, the only thing I could see were black sh eyes shining red. Before we could get used to the darkness, the projector's light suddenly turned on. Shang Wei's white shirt was covered with patterns mapped by the projector. God, what the? Shang Wei stepped back. The projector's beam fell on the white wall of the living room and began to flicker. Oh my. And suddenly the picture changed from a pool of light to a strangely sinister mascot character. They suggest you all take a seat to the, take a seat like the good little dragons you are. Don't want you fainting and bumping your little heads on anything. The voice was weirdly pitch-shifted and low, like he wasn't able to be contained by the projector's speakers. With all the lights off, it only made things feel that much more ominous. Now, it'd be rude if I didn't introduce myself, even though you can all probably guess who I am. Are you the... Are you the mysterious Gordon Danum? Maybe, but you can call me by my true name. Demon Dragon! <laughs> what? Hey, what gives? Calling us here not showing up yourself? And that name, it sounds like a middle schooler's comic book character. Um, who cares about that? You wretched sinners should be more worried about yourselves. Are you kidding me? And what's with calling us sinners? None of us look particularly wretched either. The sins that you have committed already weigh heavy on your heart. I'm not really sure about this. Get to the point already, what's all this about? <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Seems like a good place as ever. Alright, the next part we're gonna pick it up. We're going to be going over what that demon dragon wants from us. It's weird. It's a strange game. It's like a game show now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!